Now we've got a caution on the racetrack as Biffle had just cleared Reed Sorensen. And that was for eighth and all oh, Mike Bliss. Boy, has he had a rough weekend. Did Both not hands. did not make the field for tomorrow's Sprint Cup race. One of four cars that did not qualify. And now here at lap 129, he has just banged that thing hard into the wall. And he's knocked both ends of that car off. See all the water running out of it? Man. So our fifth caution, let's give you an idea of what happened to him. Take a look as he's out of the car and is okay. Oh, he got help. I mean, that happened on the straightaway. That wasn't even in the corner of turn four, so he got a little help somewhere from somebody. Trying to see what car was behind him. Did not pick up the number. NASCAR like officials okay. there tell, uh, tell him that he has to still go to the infield care center. For Mike Bliss, it's been a rough 2010. Uh, his only top 10 so far this year was eighth back at Bristol. Four finishes of 27th or worse. Now pit road is closed and uh, you can see the reason why they're bringing them down pit road to uh, be able to clean up the mess on the front straightaway. So while they clean up, we'll step aside for a moment and we'll go on board with Mike Wallace and see if we can see what happened here. That's Josh Wise in the 61. Oh, yeah. Stay with us. We're coming back. Well, it was a tough night for Mike Bliss. You guys started 39th, had moved your way to 22nd. What happened out there? Uh, we just... We made a bad adjustment there and really freed the car up way too much. And um, I was going backwards. I was real loose. And you, I don't know. I, I guess I moved up and somebody was there on the outside. You can't, the spotters can't see on the outside. As a driver, you know that's a problem here. So you don't really want to do anything like that. And um, I guess I got caught on the right rear. But we just really screwed up on an adjustment and uh, put us back there. But it sucks. And a tough night for Mike Bliss. We hear a lot of drivers saying that, really chasing the racetrack tonight, Marty. He turned 45 last Monday. He won the truck race here back in 1998. And it's just a long walk back to the hauler now as we head to commercial break.